just need the Elder to discover his talkative side.
Etzelthi, Laut Niyama. You live. Barely. You're not attacking. That mean you'll hear me out? Perhaps speak. What? What's with Regis? Nothing. He sleeps. Will you wake him? Perhaps. Perhaps not. You were to speak, not question. Speak or die. Hear about Detlaf. He's... I know who he is. What of him? He's sicked a swarm of lesser vampires on the city. I have to stop him. But I do not. Sooner or later, Detloff will bring trouble. Serious trouble. How? As Kagmar brought trouble before. Folk will take him down, eventually. Might need a year, or two, or a decade. But they'll find a way, and then they'll go after other vampires. And eventually, they'll find you. And I should fear... Death? No. But that'll be the end of your peace, your quiet. Knights errant, mages, they'll come here day in, day out. One already managed to teleport here. Others will follow, you can be sure. You'll kill them, of course. So they'll flood these caves, or bring in sappers from Mahakam and collapse them. No. This place must be secure. The gate! <gasps> what is your plan? Detloff. We have to convince him to spare the city. Will he? Probably not. Yet, we must try nonetheless. If there is a fight, if you help kill him... I will be anathema. This I know. And still, I ask you to summon Detloff. Where? Teshem Mudna. Go. Once I sent you there, I will summon Detlaf. I thank you. Leave me. Oh, that went better than I expected it would. All your unseen that... Uh, welcoming? No, they vary. Some are conceited, others imperious, but... Most can be reasoned with. But him... It was clear each word was a great effort. Interacting with others, it seems, it causes him physical pain. Never entered my mind that the conjunction of the spheres was also a cataclysm for you, for... Monsters? No euphemism required. You needn't seek one. I dare say it was worse for us. You arrived by the thousands. We were but a handful. 
Not much choice. Assimilate with you, or shut ourselves off from the world, like him. And you? How do you feel now, where you are? Geralt, imagine the least comfortable situation you could ever find yourself in. What would it be? I don't mean a moment of pain with death knocking at your door. Just a circumstance of great unease. All right. In that case, a court banquet. Gotta show up in hose and a tight doublet. Gotta smile at everyone and engage in vacuous conversation while Dandelion sings a ballad about me and Yennefer for all to hear. Very well. Now imagine you're stuck there. Not for an hour, not for an evening, but for all time. And should you fall out of character for but a moment, should you so much as scratch yourself where the stitching chafes all around you will scream, monster, monster, and they'll turn on you and tear you to shreds. Sounds... tiring. Damn tiring. I couldn't have put it better myself. Think that went better than... you kidding? I'd have been dead on the spot if not for my slowed metabolism. And yet you survived, though you are risking your life. The question is, why? This contract, it goes well beyond what witches customarily handle. I cannot abandon the matter, for Detlaf and I are bound by blood, but you... You could simply walk away. So why, my friend? Why stay and risk your hide? For you. You're in a heap of trouble, Regis. Trouble Detloff brought on. Seen you die once already. That one time was enough. I... Mm. I'm not certain I know what to say. I am grateful, Geralt. Time to summon Detloff. <sighs> yes. High time. Uh, do... Do you wish to go to Tesha Mutner right away? Let's go. Want to get this over with. Nice place, isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntime. Shame the reason why we came here. Yes, quite the shame. You angry with me for not freeing Sienna? For not trying to resolve this peacefully? Hmm, a bit. Though. Perhaps I was fooling myself, latching on to the notion because I badly wished to believe there was some way to fix everything. However, matters have simply gone too far. I must come to terms with that. Regis, let the Unseen Elder know we've arrived. Have him summon Deadlaugh.
didn't manage to find me, so you forced a meeting. Why? You know why. I've tired of guessing your human thoughts. So articulate them or leave me be. I understand your anger, but you need to stop the attacks in the city, immediately. My conditions are clear. I wish to see Rello. I wish to see Siana. Yet she is not here. You know why. The Duchess would not release her. So the Duchess must face the consequences. Detlef, please. All this for one woman. You understand nothing. Let us be done with this.
Be gone. I can't let you. I insist. My, what a smashing ensemble. You wear it well. Shut up. I look like a twit. The caftan is sewn of the best fabrics available, and according to the best tailoring practices. But one must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. Usually wear something different, better suited to my trade. Got nothing against this particular outfit, though. Just don't exactly feel comfortable in it. And I despise formal occasions. Hmm. Nothing one can't get accustomed to. Now, be so kind. All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on... F huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of all else. Which calls for lordly, glistening triviality and misplaced generosity. Sound wistful. Pensive, Regis. That because they refuse to buy you a new outfit? Hardly. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering, which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. Besides, I've no need for a new outfit as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Why not? Because unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience? Count on it. Hmm. Ceremonies. Medals honoring virtues. Just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory? After all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. 
Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victims' names to Detlaf. Perhaps we missed something. All in all, why not check up on that? We'll go together, assuming we're done here. I am done, yes. It lies in your hands now to see if you are able to present my handiwork at the ceremony with the dignity it is due. Or if you will first destroy it, crawling about the city's underbelly. Promise to be careful. The swordsman! Good to see you! Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know! Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on then! I'm a proponent of free speech and I will gladly tell you all I know! But why not go- Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the souls that wear them. Clean boots, clean souls. A fine slogan. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beckers brought them. Why didn't you tell us this before, when we first talked? You didn't ask about beggars now, did you? Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. Each was different. Some had mismatched boots, others had no boots at all. Oh, I know! They all had no home! Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Where'd they get the letters? They picked them up? Get them from someone? I don't know. They'd come, hand me a letter, and walk away. I asked no questions. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that boot shine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. We must visit the shelter. Look around inside. You shoo away the beast, sugar lips. Ooh. You. You 
You've to move your little camp elsewhere, does it? You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. The shelter. Them living here bothers you. Look, Ballot. Another defender of the poor. Damn nuisance. We for our women and young folk living next door. When e Decent folk you mention. Mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Hear that, Artois? He poking insults us. On our own turf. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. All right. I can take a hint. Come, time to go. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm... What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike... I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My... Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Garl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait? You can question them yourselves. Sure all your usual beggars will be here? They're not obliged to come, of course. But they rarely find a decent meal elsewhere. So, almost all in the area eat here. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve the soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold, and we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeal? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romain. Given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got one too. Uh, gave it to the boot black. And Freshy? I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the feast of St. Barnabas. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is... You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. These men helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy then.
damn it. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. This time you will see to our Ducasa. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Siana planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtue's their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions. Ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Sienna murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn penchant for evil? Yes, yes and yes. All seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you could always ask her yourself. Actually, love to learn her motives. Praiseworthy, I suppose. Sometimes one should stare evil in the face. Seems a bit strong, no? She used my friend as her tool for killing. I believe I've every right to condemn her. But I support your lust for the truth. Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. Think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. Coming with? Of course not. I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's Long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions rampage. Besides, I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So, said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. I've never been fond of categorical statements of that kind, but I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. She treated Detlaf cruelly, caused his death in the end, and now this, atop all that, no, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery.
godt spart tok om det er veien, ja. Drink! Give me a drink! Nothing to see here. Move along! They say a great deal about you.
Halt! Need to see Sienna urgently. In the matter of? Need to interrogate her. New facts have come to light. Need them explained. Seems she was planning your Duquesse's assassination. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Promise to be brief. The Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Hey, Siana. Sorry to intrude, but I gotta ask you something. I've nothing to say to you. You're the one who put me in here. Have you forgotten? Sure, but you are here. So what's the harm in talking? Got something better to do? What do you want? Be brief. Went to a place where Beauclair's beggars congregate. Found proof that you'd planned your sister's demise. Anna Henrietta. She was Dedloff's ultimate target from the start. Your target. Bravo, Witcher. I congratulate you on your deductive reasoning skills. But what I'd planned has nothing to do with you. Wrong. Has everything to do with me. You were hired to kill the beast. Said beast is dead. So go collect your metal and leave me alone. Why must you meddle in everything? Just like to know what's going on around me. Can't stand confusion, unexplained situations. Have you come to ask me what drives me? What my motives are? Actually came hoping to learn something. It's clear you are out for vengeance. Against those who drove you from the palace? Curse of the Black Sun. That was their reason, right? It's certainly what they claimed. They said I was dangerous. A mutant. Knights, Presby, Dulac, Delacroix, and Peyrac Perrin. They got the task of whisking me away. Abandoning me outside the Duchy's borders. They were following orders. So they were. Though they did so eagerly. Especially when I tried to flee. Crespi beat me unconscious with a whip. The others stood by and watched. Peyron found ample opportunity to take his frustrations out on me. While Dulac and Delacroix insulted me. Mocked me. I swore then I would never forget. I would find them. Find them all. Hmm. Explains a bit. A lot. You had a right to feel rage, resentment. But those motives aren't enough to justify the means you chose. I didn't expect you to understand. I need no sympathy. Not from you. Not from... If I could turn back time, I'd not decide otherwise at any juncture. They all deserve to be punished. My sister, most of all. Enough. Your visit's done. Ah, oh, thank the stars. Commander de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Need to tend to one thing first. I'll look in on him afterwards. So be it.
Damien. Geralt, it's about time. Your face doesn't look good. What the hell happened? The city was attacked. Surely you don't imagine I could stand and watch it all from some ivory tower. Got some important information. Anna Henrietta was supposed to be Detloff and Siana's fifth victim. You are certain of this? Completely. Found proof. Inconceivable. How could she? The murders, the mayhem she brought down on the city, were they not enough? She sought to strike down her own sister, her liege, traitor. I must alert my men. Enlarge the Duchess's honor guard. Make certain Sylvia Anna is closely watched during the questioning. I'll see to it personally. I thank you, Witcher, for alerting me, and I appreciate your attentiveness. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. In the guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your Grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of the Beast of Beauclair, step forth. We bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? Truly grateful, Your Grace. Sadly, I'm afraid I have to sour the mood. It's Sienna. She plotted to have you killed, Duchess. Planned to use Dedloff. You were to be the Beast's fifth victim. This cannot be true. You're mistaken. You must be. I have proof.
I do not believe it. In a moment I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet what you tell me now I find devastating. I've come to doubt that I can judge her fairly. I'd far prefer to learn you're mistaken, Geralt. I'm not. In fact, I'd recommend you be particularly careful around her. You exaggerate, Witcher. She is my sister. I know well how to speak to her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. The Witcher will take part in our talk. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Nor does it let me believe you sought my demise. My heart yearns to know you were swayed by the monster Detlaf. You yourself would never stoop so low. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me, as one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. No matter the mitigating circumstances, whatever they may be, Siana is a criminal and should be tried as such. And punished as such. Her guilt is clear. Your words sadden me greatly, Witcher. But I cannot deny their logic. Siana, you shall be tried and given a fitting punishment. Yet we shall never cease to be family. As Duchess, I shall have to judge you. But as your sister, I shall never stop loving you. Will you forgive me? I shall never forgive you.
Need some flowers, a wreath, or... I've none. Sold everything. I was just on my way out. No sense hanging about with nothing. Should come as no shock, sir. Had the funeral. Folk took it all. Men, women, children. All wished to lay a bouquet on the Duchess's grave. Windflower. But she liked common roses best. I know. Her ladies-in-waiting would come here at times. I'd choose the loveliest blooms for her. Ah, I've still not come to terms with it. To be killed by her... Anna Henrietta wanted to believe there was still hope for Sianna, that she'd show remorse. She reached a hand out to her. Too soon. Too trusting. Oh, I know you. You're that witcher from the north. The one that saved us from the beast. Mm-hmm. Could say that. Wait here. Take these. Thought you were out of flowers. I put a bouquet aside. I was to take it to her myself. But you have it. How much do I owe you? Not a copper. Keep your coin and raise a toast in her memory tonight. Do just that. Farewell. In the guild's net. You lot? Yeah. I shall. Thank your. My dear. For a Geralt of Rivia. Slayer of the In beast of Beauclair. Step forth. Thank you immensely, Geralt. Thank you. <coughs> some surprise for you. The gastatory. Grateful, Your Grace. Sadly, I'm afraid. It's Sianna. This cannot be true. I have proof. A 
I do not believe it. In a moment I shall speak to... You returned my sister to me. I'm not. In fact, I'd recommend you be particularly careful around her. You exaggerate, Witcher. If my presence will help in any manner. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. The Witcher will take part in our talk. I'm not a prisoner. Free to do as I choose. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart... Nor does it let me believe you. Thus I have asked... Your Grace, as head of state, you should look first and foremost after your dominion. Siana's actions, what drove them, be damned. She's a threat to your subjects. You are correct. They are what matters. I must not forget this. Siana, you shall be tried and given a fitting punishment. As Duchess, I shall have to judge you. But as your sister, I shall never stop loving you. Will you forgive me? I shall never forgive you. <gasps> some flowers, a wreath, or... I've none. Sold everything. I was just on my way out. No sense hanging about with nothing to do. Should come as no shock, sir. Had the funeral. Folk took it all. Men, women, children. All wished to lay a bouquet on the Duchess's grave. Wind flowers, peonies, gladioli. But she liked common roses best. I know. Her ladies in waiting would come here at times. I'd choose the loveliest blooms for her. Fragrant, big petals, the kind that last a long time. Ah, oh, I've still not come to terms with it. To be killed by her own sister. How could it happen?
How? Quickly. Unexpectedly. She was gone before I understood what was happening. Oh, I know you. You're that witcher from the north. The one that saved us from the beast. Mm-hmm. Could say that. Wait here. Take these. Thought you were out of flowers. I put a bouquet aside. I was to take it to her myself. But you have it. I know you held the Duchess dear. How much do I owe you? Not a copper. Keep your coin and raise a toast in her memory tonight. Do just that. Farewell. To be honest, every last man Jack in this park whine at women of the prey. Snow White, you with the exquisite hair. They say a great deal about you, Witcher. <coughs> this appearance is deceiving. What have thought?
trading in wine while some witness guards the common folk. Witcher, I was certain you'd departed. Couldn't. Anna Henrietta was... Wondrous. Beautiful. Good. The best ruler one could hope. Not the time to give in to weakness. You're the commander of her guard. Ought to set an example for others. Be dignified, standing guard over her grave. It's what Anna Henrietta would have wanted. You are right, Geralt. There will be a time to grieve later. My duty to the ducal seat, that comes first now. Come to pay my respects. Bid the Duchess farewell. White roses. They were her favorite. Go inside, then. She lies in the ducal crypt. In one room with her murderer. Despite my protests. What? Who decided that? The Regent's Council. A pack of old men who've statutes and codices for hearts. Ducal blood flowed in Siana's veins, and she was never legally disinherited. So they ruled she should lie alongside Anarieta. way that I failed to prevent it. Hope you can forgive me. Rest in peace. Stylish crypt, quite subdued. Yes, this is the kind of eternal resting place I dream of. Moments like this. I never know if you're joking or serious. Serious, Geralt, serious. It's remarkably peaceful, subtly charming to the hilt. A perfect match for the Duchess's dignity. Ah, you humans, you'll never cease to amaze me. To feel despair in the face of natural processes to which you are predestined. I've come to take you from this place, my friend. Dare say you deserve a speck of respite after the mad whirl of the last few days. Those deaths I failed to prevent. I feel pretty awful right about now. Can't help thinking I could have done more. Now two sons left without a ruler. Or more accurately, chaos rules here. Hand in hand with despair. Duchess won over people's hearts. All Beauclair now weeps for her. A mass outburst of emotion. Well, it seems her subjects have adopted some of their recent ruler's traits. Why the sarcasm? I thought you liked Donna Henrietta. I did. 
And I do truly rue her passing. Me too. Then let us drink. Whatever you say about Siona, you gotta admit, she was unbending. That she was. I do admit it. Though, in her case, it would have been better if she had been a tad more... Mm, philosophical. Pausing from time to time to reflect on the propriety of her actions. True. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. Penny for your thoughts. Yes. Succubus twins? No, I was thinking about... Oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse? And if I were to add... Jimson in the last phase... Could the intrigue blend that?
you might call it, trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we have another rule. An unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying, out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Toussaint. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Oh, let us make for my camp. I have an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Mmm, supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning, then develops gently, rising to a, a... Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home, on the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind to... <sighs> a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? Know what? Think I just might. Come on now, don't laugh. Maybe not today or tomorrow. But one day I'll want to see what it's like to just wake up every day in my own bed. Oh, stop, please. Sounds so sentimental, my fangs have begun to hurt. Then what? Will you begin writing your memoirs like Dandelion? I can remember a night, not too far from here if I'm not mistaken. We hid in the cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? we just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. That first stay in Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellars too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances like Mamoons and Dopplers deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you? Any idea where you'll go? Distance is of the essence. I thought I might venture south. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do.
Be gone! Sheath that blade, you twit! That's better. Here in Beauclair, all's right and fair. Milton de Perak Perran murdered. I like so evil, so esteemed. Garu Permanentation! Welcome, Sir Geralt! Need a bit of groom? My time's up. Manentation, hair rejuvenation, dandruff annihilation. Agreed. And last, Trampona. Wisdom lies stripped of all that is noble. Long live the champion. Generosity. Thou shalt not muscle the mouth of truth. Monsters, wildcats, bandits, tremble Come, let's down. Champion! Lipio to keep you from hangovers too. Long live the champion!
Long live the champion! To serve you and your kin, I am prepared. Just and true, the night returns. Oh! Ah! At marriage days of... ah! Sir? Yes, sir? What have you got there?
like you to craft something for me. Long live the champion! The guard brings peace to our domain. You are Sir Geralt of Rivet. Craft something. Long live the champion! Deep breath, that's what I like to see. Long live Get the it. champion! I knew from the start you'd best the beast. Tell you what, the book of lust is hard.
Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. Unexpected as ever. And beautiful as ever. Won't you even ask why I've come? Or how I found you? Wouldn't get a straight answer anyway. Quite true. Used to bother me all your secrets. Now I know if you have something to tell me, you'll tell me. Don't need to ask. I missed you, Geralt. Madly. Come outside. We can hold hands and stare at the sky. Like some shitty two-crown romance. So... Of course. I'm not... How might I be of... Starting to really like... As you wish, sir. I agree, sir. Along the path of... I agree. It... Yes. It goes without... By this time tomorrow... Is there anything... Could use another weapon rack. Got some interesting... I know of a carpentry shop in... Fine. Order... Of course, at one. Is there anything... Starting to... But of course. My armor needs work. Admiral Rob... Good. Immediately. Will... In my... Of course. Then send out... Of course. Will you be needing... Feels like by investing a bit of coin I could make the house... With the utmost respect, sir. The vineyard has arrived at the pinnacle of perfection. Any further changes could prove a regrettable step down the slope towards the brash. I... Thanks. How might I be off, sir? Thanks.
renovations coming along. I am delighted to inform you we have completed our labors. You must forgive me my temerity, sir, but... Sure, why not? During the tidying that preceded the renovations, I came across a bottle of Sapramento, the 1250 vintage. I cannot say by what miracle it survived, And then he ran straight into the crowd, burning bouquet in hand. All thought it a part of the performance, so they only laughed, even when the decor began to catch fire. It was not until the flames engulfed Baron Mahefkin's beard that folk began to realize something was amiss and went to put out the fires. <laughs> Sounds like Monsieur Bolius and Madame Nina threw some first-rate balls here. It was so. In this regard, Baron Rossell was decidedly more reserved. So tell me, Barnabas Basil, what's the wine situation like here? Am I going to produce any this year? This year is out, I fear, sir. Last autumn, a fungus destroyed all the vines. Baron Rossell had new ones planted, but it will be some time before they start bearing fruit. Assuming that is, the fungus does not reappear. Hmm, that'd be bad. This Sepramento got me dreaming. It's amazing. Isn't it, though? Allow me to top you off, sir. There. Thanks.
Can we talk? Always. With pleasure. Brought quite a few books. Let me guess. Working on a new spell? Not at all. These aren't grimoires, just pleasure reading. The name of the orchid. A widower for half a year. Huh. Always thought you too busy to make time for something as impractical as pleasure reading. Because I was. But now, I'm not. A few weeks ago, I awoke to the realization that I know not what to do next. I have no plan. I have no goal. And you know what? I like that. Finally, I can stop thinking about politics and focus on what's important to me. Which is why I came here. Liking Tucson so far? Hmm. The landscape's lovely and the towns are charming, no question about that. But? But the southern sun plays havoc with my wardrobe. To be blunt, wear black down here and you're pretty damn hot. Hmm. Might need to think about changing your color palette. Off-white and pea-green, for instance. <laughs> and I'll wear scents distilled from turnips and daisies. I think I shall simply stay in the shade. And you'll bring me cool drinks. At regular intervals. Bring you whatever you want. You know, feels kind of strange having a home. Hmm, I must say I never pictured you owning real estate. <laughs> Was something of an accident, but I'm not about to complain. Yen, back then, before we fought the hunt, said you wanted to run away with me to the world's end. This vineyard, good enough? Hmm, yes, although there's one thing missing. Namely? I shall give you a hint. It's large, white, has four legs, category taxidermy. <laughs> oh yeah, the unicorn. Fine. You can bring it down here. I knew you'd see things my way. Ever thought this day would come? Me and you? Peace and quiet? Bees buzzing, birds chirping? I almost regret delaying so long before coming to you. I was quite the silly goose. You have doubts? Though I imagine it might have been hard coming after me. Always were proud as a peacock. Please, Geralt. I'm not like other sorceresses to feel that following someone means my wings have been clipped. Ooh, watch what you say about your colleagues. Remember, it's an ill bird that fouls its own nest. Well said, Witcher. You're not only handsome, but wise, too. I feel a bit like the cat that got the canary. Yeah, and I'm... Mm. Damn it, you win. This time. Ha! How'd that start, anyway? Our duels in wordplay. Forgotten. It was out of vernissage in Bannard. You started it to keep from going mad with boredom. I remember finding your sense of humor both groan-worthy and somehow endearing. Never change, Geralt. I beg you. Ever thought this day would... I almost regret delaying... You have doubts? Though I imagine it might have been hard coming after me. Please, Geralt. I'm not like other sorceresses to feel that following someone means my wings... Ooh, watch what you say about your colleagues. Remember, it's an ill bird that fouls its own nest. Well said, Witcher. You're not only handsome, but wise, too. I feel a bit like the cat that got the canary. Yeah, and I'm... Mm. Damn it, you win. This time. Ha! How'd that stop? Forgotten. Never change, Geralt. I beg you. So, talk again later? Of course. I'm not going anywhere.
I thank you for letting me stay. I cannot remember. You sure you don't feel lonely out here? I cannot say yet. Visited others' homes as a white. Yes, but ever at night, when all were asleep, I went in Remember, you can always change your mind. Decide you've lived here long enough, just say the word. I'd never wish to seem un- And I'd never want you to stay against your will. I'd never expect someone with your past to feel drawn to the kitchen. Do you fear I will cook in your home as I brought as a white? <laughs> Counting on you having slightly better taste as a human. Of that, you can be sure. I loved cooking, even as a child. My gran was a true master in the kitchen. Her spit-roasted oaks was famed throughout the land. Thought you were a lady, owned an estate. Do you mean to say a woman of my rank should have had a cook? You're right, of course. And I had the best of cooks. But I devised the dishes myself. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. <laughs>